So today on Project Shop, I got my Mercedes jacked up in the air over here because I blew another hydraulic line for the ABC suspension. So this is the third line that's blown since I've owned this car over a five year period. And being that everything on this car was all original when I got it, I really can't complain because they were supposed to be changed out or maintained, basically changed out pretty much after about 10 years. And this car has over 200,000 miles on it. And, and the last, you know, couple thousand miles that I put on it, there's some hard miles, man. I drive this car the way it was meant to be driven. But the ABC system is all original, or at least it was when I got the car. And since I've had it, I had the uh, one line blow in the front and two lines blow back here, two lines in the back blow out on me. The one was kind of sketchy. It was the line going from the valve block to the rear wheel and the, and the whole rear side of the car dropped down when that happened. This time, I've already located the line. I'll get up there and show you in a second. I'm just gonna put another jack under there. Even though I got this thing up on jack stands, I won't get under this car without a lot of extra support. Uh, it, a line blue that goes from the, from the valve block to the accumulator looks pretty straightforward. I'm hoping I'm not gonna have to drop the exhaust to get it out, but we'll find out in a second. Also, about the same time this happened, Steve blew the tranny in his truck, so pretty much we lost half our fleet in uh, about a week. So he's up under there dropping the tranny. Once he gets that out, we'll get it on the table, get it cleaned up, and uh, tear it apart. We'll make a video on that and see if uh, it can be salvaged or if we're gonna have to just get a whole new tranny. Okay, now that we got two jack stands and a jack, i get under here and show you what happened. So basically, there's a ball somewhere. Where's this ball at? There's a line that blew. You see it's all wet, and you can see the rupture right there. So this goes to the accumulator, which is, oh wow, there's three lines going on. I guess the accumulator's on the other side. Oh man, this looks like it's gonna be a nightmare. It's the accumulator right here. I'm pretty sure I, I changed this one out. It was like, there it is. So that's the accumulator some light on that and basically what that is see that ball so that's a, a nitrogen filled ball it's got a bladder in there with nitrogen on one side and then the hydraulic fluid hits the other side so this line looks like it's gonna be a real pain in the butt look at that screw right there how do you even get to that how did I get to that before I don't know I'm pretty sure I had to take that off when I recently, this is the line I recently replaced right here. And then it, it snakes, it comes down here. I had to take all this off. So I know I can get that off. It comes down here. And why is there two, why is there three lines going over here? Where does that other line go? Two of them go up. Oh, two, two of them go up and over there but i don't know where the other line goes it looks like it's this i don't know mercedes is weird man it looks like they just have lines going in all different directions for no reason it's like a loop i don't know which one i need because it's hiding underneath this so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna start at the accumulator and work my way back this is not something i'm looking it looks like someone forgot to tighten up this exhaust clamp and we've been leaking exhaust. That's not good. I should probably just cut out all this exhaust while we're under here. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some wrenches and then um, I'm gonna start back at that accumulator. I'm gonna see if I can't get that loose uh, without any major issues. I'm gonna get some extensions and some sockets. And uh, we're gonna get this party started. Look, Steve's already got his party started. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this penetrating oil and lube up the exhaust bolts because I'm going to drop the exhaust because these things are actually supposed to be chrome and you really can't get under there and clean them. So I've been wanting to clean them since pretty much I've had the car. And last time I had the exhaust down, I forgot to clean them. So we're going to just lube these. That looks like it's probably on its way out anyway. And... I think this one's already kind of loose. And we're gonna remove this whole section of exhaust and it's gonna do two things. It's gonna free me up some room to work and I'll be able to polish those chrome tips.
Okay, let's just take a moment to marvel at this German engineer and where this bolt is too long and actually hitting the uh, axle shaft here and I can't get that out. I might have to push that out that way to get this off. Like all they had to do was put that bolt in from the other side and put a nut on this side and that thing would have been all right. I don't see how this is supposed to come out. It's bottoming out against it. What the heck, man? Okay, put a little bit of persuasion. I was able to get it out. I had to lift this up and shake it around a little bit. We're gonna try and install that the opposite way. Now, it looks like I just have to take this off to split the exhaust. And then up here, I don't see how that comes out other than sliding that back that way. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that off and hopefully this thing comes right out. Okay, there we go. These are my crusty AMG pipe tips. And I believe these are resonators. These are the mufflers. And then under the car, there's actually two sets of cats. So this exhaust system is just over the top. Four cats, a set of mufflers, and some resonators. What I'd like to do is eliminate everything except for the primary cats. So that's something we're gonna look into here in the future. But now we're gonna get back under here and uh okay so in the spirit of making things way more complicated than they have to be mercedes has outdone them so i'm trying to wrap my brain around what they've done here so these two lines here uh, one's a return and one's the feed coming from the pump in the front i'm not sure which one does what but i'm pretty sure that maybe it comes into this pulsation dampener and then into the valve block and then out these three lines these two here and then this third line which goes to the accumulator which is all the way over there now what we have here is three lines that come across the car this one i just replaced this one's for the accumulator and that third line way up in there is actually for the right driver's side strut now what i don't understand is why it comes all the way across the car goes up here runs up above the rear end which it has a let's see if i can show you way up in there okay is over there is a clamp right above the rear end very hard to get to okay and then it runs all the way back over here up underneath this to the strut on this side now what i don't understand is why they put this bend here and ran it across the car and not just straight up over here because there's the line right there and then to the thing why does it have to have this rubber thing now i'm a big fan if it ain't broke don't fix it but since i've had two lines blow on me in the past i'd say seven months i think i want to replace that rear line while i have this all out so i think i'm going to go ahead and pull the accumulator line which is this one and the driver's side strut which looks to be a nightmare i mean you got to get this line I, i'm i'm wondering if i can just make my own line and bypass all that shit and just bring it right over to there like what's the point of running the hydraulics all the way across the car having a rubber hose that's a failure point just to bring it all the way back across the car why can't it just go from here to there it's not really making much sense to me unless it would have to have equal length but that would make it even longer none of this makes sense but you can see the burst i had really well right there so we can get it close up man blown hydraulic in 4k and these lines are pretty hard and then i'm looking at this line right here where's it at this line which looks like it's coming from the front of the car man that's like some squishy soft stuff so i don't know if that's been replaced because it has a different crimp on it than all the other ones now, even the one i got from fcp euro it said mercedes benz on it and it has this crimp which is the same as the original this is something else so I'm thinking someone replaced this at some point with some aftermarket stuff or just took it to a hydraulic shop maybe and had them put a different end on it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the way that comes. But I have no idea why 
they would run that hydraulic line across the car up over here all the way back over to over there that that's just beyond me but i don't want to go through all this and then basically have to come back and do that line another time because that's all the way up in there so all these lines need to move out of the way i might as well change that line now because i know pretty soon that's going to be the next one to go and at least that'll wrap up the back of the car except for this line the feed and return line so this is the accumulator this is the driver's side this is this is just this is absurd i had this whole valve block off at one point and completely rebuilt it i'm not sure if they gave me a new i'm not sure if i replaced this or not i think i did replace this on that accumulator and then the front accumulator and then there's one more of these up front that needs to be replaced and then all the lines up front except for the one i already replaced up there so in five years of owning this car this is the third line that's blown and they're 18 years old and you're lucky to get 10 years out of hydraulics so i i can't complain and a lot of people just do away with this hydraulic shit and just put coilovers and then you got to get like a sway bar because there is no sway bar on this car but i'm not gonna do that i like the hydraulics i like putting this thing in abc sport mode and letting it do it letting it do its thing when you're in triple d's okay so i'm gonna start loosening up all these brackets here and work my way over to that line since that's the bottom line we'll get that off first and then uh, yeah we're just gonna go ahead and replace that line now there's no need to be this far and uh not pull that out okay so i'm gonna start right back here with this accumulator line i'm gonna blast it off with some uh parts cleaner just so there's not no dirt gonna fall into the actual accumulator and contaminate our hydraulic system and then i'm gonna work my way back to the other side Okay, so that was probably the easiest part of this whole operation uh, now there is flat spots on the accumulator to put a wrench and you really should be using a line wrench uh, not a regular wrench whenever you're breaking these loose but hey they're all the way inside and I'm all the way out here so now I'm just gonna work my way back across the car I did remove the uh, rear tire just to kind of make it more accessible getting in here and then I shoved it under the car as kind of like an extra support for safety because uh, you know this thing's heavy and as you can see it's kind of sketchy the way these um, jack stands are you know they're like on these round things i've had them on here before i've never had an issue but uh, now looking at that i'm kind of second guessing how that is but we do have the jack which i'm going to reposition because it looks like it's like halfway off there we go you can never be too safe so we got a jack two jack stands and a tire and looking at that open exhaust down there i am probably going to start the car and see what it sounds like with no mufflers i <laughs> bet that'll be pretty interesting okay so it looks like the next one is over this big old cross member here i'm going to loosen that and i've already loosened these ones here and here and this one here i took the bolts off the only one it's kind of hard to see but right there through that hole there's actually another one i think there's another one yeah that's gonna be fun now mercedes will probably tell you oh you gotta drop the whole rear end but we're gonna see if we can't sneak this out of here without doing all that craziness the one that is gonna be fun is gonna be the one that comes across and goes back over not really looking forward to that okay i don't see any reasonable way of getting that off it's way back in there up above the subframe i'm thinking maybe a quick wrench and sneak it in there from this side but there's really no way of getting that from underneath here's the line i replaced last time I'm already full of brake dust okay let's get a game plan here okay so that thing up in there is proven to be way more difficult the only thing i've been able to get on there was that 10 millimeter that's slightly longer i can't even get the quick wrench on the back side wasn't enough clearance to get a socket on there 
Now there is a hole. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a hole back in there. But it doesn't really line up with where you, if you could just feed a socket up. You know, if they moved the hole over two inches, they would have made a lot. It would have made this a lot simpler. And the only thing I can do is get up under there in a weird position. I have to come in from this side over here, but I got to get my hand up. <sighs> see, see, it's it's right there. That's what it is. But all this is in a way. I almost want to take a hole saw and drill a hole there. I can just imagine what Mercedes would charge to do this. They'd probably remove all of this whole subframe. So what I'm having to do here is, to be careful, put my hand up in here. I guess I should put that back the way it was. See, somewhat. Now, even if I get this off, I'm not even sure how I'm going to get it back on. And I'm really curious as to what Mercedes, and I can't even see it. I can only see a portion of it from this angle. Where'd it go? And I can only get my fingertips. <sighs> Yeah, I can only see it a little. Let me see if I can get a better light representation of what I'm looking at. I can't even get the light up in there without it blinding me. This is a nightmare. Like, why? What, what was the point of all this? It's hard to see, but I can just get the tip of the open-ended wrench on there. And I'm getting like not even a quarter of a turn at a time out of it. And once I get this off, I have no idea how I'm going to get that started back again and it's a plastic it's plastic who the hell is out here and we got rain coming so i don't know how much longer i could stay out here so i'm gonna mess with this a little bit longer once i think i get that off oh there's one more i could see that one see that one right there that one i'm pretty sure i can get the, the wrench on i could probably get the socket on that one okay we got two idiots out here working on cars in the middle of the night Steve's putting a transmission in his truck and I'm replacing a hydraulic line in my car. It's like one o'clock in the morning. It's like the only time we have to work on our own stuff. <laughs> but hopefully here soon we'll have uh, two running vehicles and uh, we'll gain some space back here. I could park my car at my house. Steve takes truck home. Now we can pile more scrap over here. <laughs> Okay, we're back at it. Steve just put a tranny in this. I hope I get this line in here today. Let me show you where I'm at. Okay, so I don't know how well this is gonna come in, but the hardest part of this whole thing so far was getting that thing off because it's above this like subframe and it was almost impossible to get to the nuts. We used a combination of a flex and a swivel and a 10 millimeter, but now, I gotta get the rubber block off. Now, I already went ahead and removed the parking brake line. Okay, and that was just, I un undid this bolt. Where is it? And just pulled this line and it kind of loosened everything up. But that bracket is above this and it was just a nightmare. Matter of fact, that's the last thing I did a couple months ago when I stopped working on this thing. Now, I already pulled the line out from above there. And I got it loose over here. The issue now is to try to sneak this line, which is like this way and bent down, out of here. I loosened this, but there must be another nut up there holding it in place. So this is gonna be interesting, I'm trying to sneak this out, sneak the new one in. But we're gonna give it a try. Okay, she's out. Now, I did have to remove this bracket over here. It made it a lot easier. That thing was up there like this or something, okay? And man, it was tough getting that out. I had to kind of rough it out of there. I don't think I bent the metal too much, but I might have bent the metal rigid parts of it. Uh, sneaking that thing out of here was tough. And I'm thinking removing this coupler here on the drive shaft would have probably made this job a lot easier. I might take this off trying to get the new one in. I think it'd just make it a whole lot easier. But as you can see, I mean, there's just lines and crap everywhere. And I really want to pull this other line from that wheel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really look into it here in a second. I don't have it, but I don't want to put that line on if I have to take what looks like this line off. I think I just replaced this one recently. And while I have all this off, I might just pull this line out right now. We'll see. Okay, this is the last line, okay? And it is on top of all of them. It's up there, okay? And then it goes all the way down. 
It's right here. And then it makes this weird turn. And let me get the light. Where's the light? It comes out right there, right? This is it right here. And then it goes all the way back up there. That's it up there. Okay. It's up above the subframe. And there is a bracket that holds it right above this. You know, they don't make it easy for you. Pretty sure, like, probably should have undone these bolts and, like, lowered this down. This would have made this job so much easier. But, man, that's a lot of work. And probably have to disconnect a lot of linkages or just leave it and lower it. I'm not sure. But I think if I get all of these off, I have to take this bracket all the way off. I can get this one down somehow and then roll that this way and down and i think i'm gonna have to take this off it's gonna make getting that other line and this line out a lot easier i think if i take this off i won't have to really do anything else but it snakes up and goes you know up to that strut somewhere so yeah this is gonna be fun but i'm not gonna put that other line in knowing that this is the last line out here and it's the hardest one basically it's on top of everything i'd have to i already put this in i'd have to take this you know all this out so we're just gonna try to get it out now while we're here i'm gonna start by loosening this bracket try to get up on if you can see get the light up here there's a bracket up here somewhere okay and i think i already got it loose from over here yeah it's just that one bracket there and then whatever's holding it up over there so we're gonna work on that now and i might depending on the price of this hose take it over to mako steve thinks i can get it made cheaper over there but we'll see okay so i took the tire off i wind up taking this clamp off of here and then this quick release which was nice was way up in there and it was kind of tight to get to i didn't want to drop this so I used my extendo hook tipped needle nose pliers here. Let me tell you something, man. If you don't have a pair of pliers like this, you've never been in a situation where you needed an extended hook nosed pair of pliers. Uh, this thing has saved me many times and made this job really easy. I was just able to reach up there, wiggle that a little bit, pull it down, popped right off. Now, the hard part is, how are we gonna get this line which goes halfway across the car, up, up above the subframe, and then halfway back. It'd be nice if it just all just slid out this way, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So we're gonna get up there and uh, investigate here a little bit. Okay, here's the situation. We have this line. It goes up all the way across. Actually, I got one more thing. I need to take this off right here. Yeah, that's definitely gotta come out of there. It goes up, comes over here, and then it comes back all the way over there and we're, we're loose now the only thing is how is this going to come out of here i'm thinking maybe i can drop it down here and slide it out that way but that would mean all of this craziness right here has to come all the way out it almost looks like it needs to come out this way there's no way this is going to get up above maybe i have to sneak this out that way i don't know man this is crazy i almost want to cut it and then have another joint added to it down here somewhere so this is what i'm thinking man this system would be so much easier to maintain if like not just like here but just say there was a block that you could screw this line into here and then you'd be able to unscrew this line from the other side of the block and then just take out that short piece instead of trying to snake this craziness all the way out of the freaking car this definitely should have been done with this whole rear end drop down. I'm not even sure how this is going to come out of here. I mean, even if I rolled it over top of this structure, which I think I can. I don't know what's stopping that. I might be able to roll it out this way and either bring it this way or that way. But I think removing this would uh, really help me. So I'm going to get this off. Let me see. Where's my light? There's that bracket right there which is the last thing holding it and then we're going to try to sneak that out of there and then we'll just have to worry about whatever rubber lines are going forward like this here so these metal lines are coming from way up there somewhere there should be a block right here where 
you know, they come into. We'll see, man. I'm not into like buying new cars. I like keeping what I have. I would almost want to look into changing how this is designed if I was going to keep this car for another, you know, 10 years or whatever. That's not good. A bunch of leaves up in there. And then uh, catch fire or something. Okay, this is where we're at. I uh, took the line off. I drained it. I got that bracket off. I'm going to just let that drip for a little bit because it's going to sling stuff when I start twisting this. Now, I'm thinking I might be able to get this somehow. Actually, I have no idea how that's going to come out. But this is down here, and that's up there. So it's like coming and then down and over. So we have to get it around this bracket here somehow. <laughs> Last time I looked online, there wasn't many videos about how to do the ABC. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure dropping these bolts and this whole little subframe down a couple inches would make this way easier but if you don't and you're doing this in your driveway like me or in my shop driveway you know i just gotta figure it out now i'm gonna take some good footage of how this line is ran because this has got to be the first one back okay it's up there so you can see okay this is the line the retarded line that goes that's right here and could just kind of go zip but no it goes way yonder and way back makes no sense i'd like to just try to make a line going from here to there that would make sense but maybe it has something to do with equalizing pressure which that don't even make sense because this is the longest line like because this goes across the car and back just going from here to there is shorter this whole these germans man i don't know man they must be smoking something because this is ridiculous this fuel system look at this this is ridiculous no, I can. Oh, it's like Steve starting up his uh, truck. All right, let's go check that out. See if his training works. Well, it started right up, man. At least the engine's good. It started right up. Oh, look at that smoke. The engine sounds good, man. Sitting around for eight months, it's fired right up. Oh, is that too much? We're gurgling. Think you got too much in? Not enough? Maybe because it's at high idle. Oh. <laughs> go get some rags, man. Okay, moment of truth. It now it ain't starting? Nope. What the hell just happened? Okay, moment of truth. It's got power. Hold on, let me grab this flyer. Dude, it moved. Oh, you need power steering fluid. Same shit? You need some? Let me go find this. Okay, we had to put some uh, power steering fluid in. I felt like a prisoner with no transportation. It's like you're fucking yeah. in jail or something. I felt like Morgan Freeman and driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> All right, man, let's see this go down the road. Take it around the block, man. Hopefully we don't have to drag it back. We're gonna have to drag it back. <laughs> Fuck, man, that thing been sitting in that spot for eight months. Yeah, been that long? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he had that transmission for eight months and this is the power steering leaked out while it was sitting here. Okay, well, at least he made it around the block. Now we're gonna get back on this beast. Maybe get this line out, man. You ready? Okay, so after consulting with the engine whisperer over here, we've decided we're gonna cut that line out of there, right? And then we're just gonna go try to have one make, made. If it works, great. If it don't, no, it's gonna work. We, uh, you know, at least we tried. But we're gonna eliminate going across the car and back, and we're just gonna go from right here to the valve block. Now, this fitting is the only thing we gotta make sure it's the same. Where does this go? Up in there. I need the other end of this. I don't think you're gonna get it off. We're gonna need this welded back on. Yeah, okay. Go Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, does that even come off? Yeah, you just took it off. No, I mean this. He's got those, it's a quick, it's a standard quick disconnect. I don't know, man, it's Mercedes. They probably got some weird shit. We got some weird shit for him, for them too. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take my saws off and we're gonna cut the back side of this line over here so we can kind of get it out with ease. Or at least that's the plan. And uh, if this works, this could be a easy work. fix for other people to do. Uh, I don't know anybody that does this on their Mercedes, but we're gonna be the first. I guess this is what happens when you give a redneck a car like this. All right, we're just gonna mow this thing down over here somewhere. Okay. My light died and I don't have my other light here. Is that light over there, Steve? Yeah. You want it? The little light? My headlamp? Yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm going to try to cut this right here at the end. Oh! Watch it, dude. 
You all right? Okay. I don't know how the fuck this is gonna go. I wonder if I can get it up there somewhere. I don't know how I would get it. Are these all old lines in here? This is a brand new one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid. And then this is the fuel tank and the fuel lines. Okay. So, yeah, I can see. Maybe I can cut it right here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can't get the right angle. Turn around. I don't think I'm gonna cut it. Okay. All right. Okay. Gonna try here. We're probably gonna get fluid everywhere, is there? There goes the fluid. Ah, oh, it's dripping on me. Fuck. Cut that baby. Go real fast with it. Well, it's shaking all over, dude. I, can't. I know. When it shakes, it don't cut. It just shakes. I know. I'm gonna pull on it while you're cutting. I need to hold it here. I gotta see the line. Hold on, don't move it. Okay. I'm in the cut. Just the fuck. The fucking metal went around the safety glass. It's just not. If you can cut it halfway, I'll twist it. it you're not going to twist it, dude, because it's bent up over and around. I just need to hold... Man, if you can hold this somehow... Uh, where are you at? Can you squeeze the pipe right here? I can. It's going to hold it down. Is this one? Go for it. Okay, let's see. That stupid fucking headlamp. Fuck it. I'm just going to get oil on myself. Okay. Did you cut it? Are you through? Yep. Did you get it? Oh. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Here we go. That was that went well. Well, that's the easy way of getting it out. Now, will the top one come out that easy? Yeah. This bitch is hooked over. Man, when it shook at that shit. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna take this one out. Uh, I might have to cut this fucker up here. You know it. You already know. Hang on a second. Well, it don't matter. I guess we can kind of bend it to get it out. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm good. Work on that in. This thing has to come up and around. It's down. Okay, it's got to come up to be cut. Okay, so this is the line. It went from the valve block down, across the car, back, and then up to the tire. What we're going to try to eliminate is all of this and just go from here to there. Okay? Which seems like way easier than all that crap. Okay. So, this is what the path we need. We need to go from up there, down over here, to right here. There is no logical reason why we need to plumb this thing all the way across the car and back. So, rather than get into all that, we're just gonna go try to get something made here. And, uh, you know, see if we can't get it in here. As long as nothing's chafing, you know, we should be good. So we need a hose somewhere in the 40. What do you, what'd you say, Steve? 42 inches? Maybe we'll go 48. So we're gonna get a hose made 48 inches that we got a little room to uh, play here. Now this is all experimental, so I have no idea how this is gonna work or if it's gonna work at all, but if the car raises, we're good to go. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is what we got. FCP Euro with a lifetime warranty wanted $260 for that line. Mercedes-Benz with no lifetime warranty wanted $380. I spent $1879 on this they actually cut the original ends off okay right there and there and mount them right on here so we will have no problem with fitment so now we just got to figure out how we're going to sneak it in there and start buttoning this thing back up okay here's the old uh, lines now the one line that we cut out of, out of there that uh we had the ends cut off there was nothing wrong with that line at this point but we all know that thing was going to blow we got this thing sitting down it's sitting really low we're gonna fire this thing up now this thing does not have the exhaust system on it and i have not secured everything up in there yet i'm just gonna make sure this thing rises and um doesn't leak sitting like this for so long yeah yeah it sat there for months look at that drive let that fucker leak man drive it get around the block yeah, it ain't running how long it ain't running months all right
Still leaking water, man. There must be a lot of water in there. Oh, I did a one wheel wonder? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Like, that looks cool. Holy oh, shit. Up. That was the bald tire, too. Oh, no. Yeah, look at that shit. Laid down some rubber. Shit. Look how wide that is, bro. What the fuck is that? I don't know. That's burnt rubber. Yeah, it is. <laughs> fucking did it, man. Why two cars in two days, man. Look at us. We should have <laughs> rotated them tires, dude. You can't. Oh. They're directional and they're offset. Oh, you can't God. put the fronts on the back. Well, I wouldn't even put them. I'd come out with straight pipes. I want to. I want to cut all that shit loud, off, dude. It is not loud. I think it sounds good. <laughs> that weighs 300 pounds. Yeah, it does, man. And it does nothing for you. Okay, so we're going to end it here. We're going to clean up. So that's my $18 fix. So we're gonna test on this, and uh, obviously the fix worked. The car came up. I'm not getting any dash lights, but the car does need to be put on the uh, star scanner and have it re-leveled. Um, it's probably not gonna work now. Last time I had the car, the raise and lower function did not work. It pretty much just stayed at whatever height it is now, which is okay because it'll clear all the bumps. Man, this thing sounds nice. So we're gonna uh, have to get some new tires for this thing and uh, hopefully I won't lose my license. So if you come as far, thanks for watching, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna button this up, put the exhaust back on, put all the body panels off. I need to go to a junkyard and find an inner fender well. Someone uh, threw my inner fender well out with well, the first time I did my ABC uh, issues. And then, uh, you know, we'll just slowly work out all the kinks on this thing. This is an older car and does need a little bit of maintenance work, but, you know, I don't owe anything on it. And uh, it's a pretty badass car. You know what this thing is. So stay tuned. We're going to uh, be doing some more mechanic work. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. You want to see people begging for money roll up to a gas station at nighttime in a Benz and uh, there's gonna come out the woodwork so this dude over here begging this guy rolled up to me and was like oh man listen I ain't I ain't, I ain't begging for money uh, I need a ride I'm like yo bro what's this look like uber <laughs> he goes man I got an abscess tooth and I can't walk I'm trying to get down the road he goes I'll pay you two dollars <laughs> man what the f
nice little nugget. 